What is going on guys? Welcome to the episode number three of the Python tutorial series for intermediates. In today's video we're going to talk about threading and threading allows us to speed up our programs by executing multiple tasks at the same time with so-called threads. Now threads are somewhat like lightweight processes. They're oftentimes referred to as lightweight processes because they're quite similar to processes but they need a lot less resources. So um, that's why they're called lightweight. And threads themselves are part of processes, so multiple threads in the same process share the, uh, the same memory space so that uh, they can communicate better with each other and they can exchange data. And this is one of the big um, advantage or benefit of using multiple threads. They are in the same process, in the same memory space, and you can run multiple tasks at the same time. So they can communicate better, they can synchronize themselves, uh, and today we're going to learn about what threads are and how to work with them in Python. Now the first thing that we need to do in Python to work with threads is to import the so-called threading module. So we basically just type import threading to work with threads. And as you notice, hopefully, uh, I increased the font size from 10, I think it was 10, uh, to 14 because a lot of you guys complained in the comments that you cannot read the code So I think it should be better now if it's still too small uh, write it down in the comments But I think it should be fine and Basically you just import the threading module and then what you do is you define a function for the thread So every thread when you start it has to do something and this something that this thread does is defined in a function So this function can be everything it can be printing hello world It can be printing hello world a thousand times it can be a counting function or a file reader or a file writer. It doesn't matter. Just some function that does something. And we can say, okay, you are the thread right now. And I want you to execute, as long as you're running, I want you to execute that function. So let's just define a simple hello world function just to show you how it works. Hello world. And then what we do now is we say t1, for example, or some other name t1 equals threading dot start oh sorry threading dot thread i skipped one step we need to define uh we need to create a new object of the thread class so we say threading dot thread with a capital t and then we say um target and here we have to pass the function to a so-called worker function of the thread in this case the function is hello world so we say target equals hello world and notice that we're not calling the function here. So we're not saying hello world followed by parentheses, but we just say hello world because we're referring to hello world without calling hello world. Because when we say target equals hello world, we don't want hello world to be executed. We just want to say this is the function that you have to use. So we don't call it. Now to run this thread or to start this thread, we can use the start method. So t1.start and when I run this, You'll see hello world is what we print. Actually, why did it input that right now? I think I clicked something. Yeah. Run. Yeah. So it works. Um, basically, it just runs the function that we defined. So hello world is function. We say thread your target function is hello world. And when I start you, you execute hello world. Now, of course, we can do this without threads as well. So what's the value of threads? The value of threads is that I can execute two functions at the same time, uh, which work in parallel. So I don't execute function one and then function two, but I have both at the same time. Now, how can you imagine that? Imagine we have a function one that goes into a loop and says, I don't know, uh, 4x in range 10,000, print some string 1, for example. And then we have a function 2, 4x in range 10,000, print 2. Now, when I go ahead right now without threading and I want to execute both functions, what happens is I execute function 1 and function 2. And you'll see that, first of all, it executes all of function, uh, all the iterations in function one, 
And when function one is completed, we go into function two. But what we want is we want both at the same time. So we don't want all the ones and then all the twos. We want some ones, some twos at the same time. So this is what we do with multi-threading. I mean, in this case, it's not really, really useful. It's just an example to show you how it works. But what I can do, of course, is I can define t1 equals threading dot thread with the target function of function one and t2 equals threading dot thread target equals function two. And then I can say t1.start and t2.start. Now, notice that you have to use the start function, not the run function, because when you use the run function, it doesn't work in parallel. If you want both at the same time, if you want to execute both at the same time, you need to use the start function. So it's a big difference. Now, run the module, and what you see is it prints one and two. Like it's, it prints them so fast that uh, they get printed in one line, but basically it just um, prints or executes both functions at the same time. So you see that it works. Of course, in this case, it's not really useful, but what you can do is, for example, in video games, you need multiple threads for different things. In a video game, you need one thread that, processe, uh, that processes the uh, user input, for example, so what you do with your mouse, what you do with the keyboard, and so on. Then you might need another uh, thread for rendering the graphics, for sound, and all, uh, all of that things. You cannot just execute these things linearly. You need to execute them at the same time, because you don't want to make some inputs, and then uh, the, the game has to process your inputs, and then you can uh, render the graphics afterwards. You need to have all these things happening at the same time, because otherwise it won't work. Now, the last part of this video is about waiting for threads. Now, as you can see here, we have a function, hello, and it prints hello 50 times. And what we do here is we start a thread that executes this function. Now, the problem is that the main script here, the script that I'm running, is already in a main thread. So when I run a script, even if I'm not using multi-threading, I have a main thread already running. And every thread I start is started from this main thread. And if I don't say wait for the thread to finish, for example, when I start T1, I want to wait before I continue on with the code. If I don't do that explicitly, it will not do it because it's multi-threading and things run in parallel. So I can still continue to work in my main script. For example, if I have a print statement here, just another text, uh, what happens is that even though I run this function here, I'm not waiting for that function to finish. And you'll see when I execute it, it immediately prints another text and then all the hello statements, even though this is the last part of the script because it starts the thread, but then it immediately continues with the code afterwards. And if I want for some reason to wait for the thread to finish, so if I say, I don't wanna execute anything until T1 is done, I use the join function. So I say t1.join. Don't confuse this with the string function join because they're completely different. But what I'm saying here is don't go to the next statement until my thread is done, until it's finished. So when I run this, you'll see that another text is the last thing that I print because the main thread pauses until my t1 is done. So this was the introduction into threading, into multi-threading. In the next video, we're going deeper on that. We're going to talk about synchronization. Uh, we're going to talk about daemon threads and so on. So stay tuned and keep watching the videos. It's getting more and more interesting. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it. Uh, ask questions in the comments. Give feedback in the comments. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And watch the next videos. Thank you very much for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye.